I'm here with Mo Rocca, who is the author of All the President's Pets, and we're going to talk about the pressing issue of the President's new dog. He said he would bring the dog, uh, have a decision on the dog after he returned from the G20. Mo, uh, what do you think about this Portuguese water dog that is, is, is what the president's going to get for his daughters? Do you have any guess on uh, what that says about this president? Well, it's an extremely friendly dog. It's, very, it's, it's a very soft dog. It is hypoallergenic, and we've heard over and over again that first daughter, Malia, has a dog allergy. Of course, no dog can be completely hypoallergenic. She's going to need to spend some time with this Portuguese water dog, with this PWD, um, a, an acronym we're going to be hearing a lot these days. And apparently the PWD did make a visit to the White House already. Ted Kennedy has three of them. Um, they're a close relative of the standard poodle. Um, they don't have their tails docked, so we will have a dog with a tail in the White House. And, and, you know, there's a, there's a story that President Bush tells about when uh, Vladimir Putin met his little dog, Barney, uh, and, and said it looked like a Monopoly piece. Then when Putin uh, hosted Bush over in Russia, he showed his enormous hound to him and thought this was a, you know, a sort of uh, view of the differences between the way the two of them saw statecraft. Yes, what and Bush, lo Bush looked into the eyes of the hound and saw Lassie. <laughs> What do we know, in, in your book you talk about you know, pets throughout presidential yeah. history. Um, link up some former pets and their presidents and what they tell us about those presidents. Um, well, I mean, you know, it, it, President Clinton, for instance, um, got a Labrador retriever in the darkest days of his presidency and that was the number one breed for 17 years running. So, you know, I'm not saying that he didn't like Buddy, the, the Labrador, but, um, the, uh, um, but I think that a lot of the time they use them clearly for public relations stunts. I was kind of hoping that Obama would go out of the box and, and make like one of our pre-World War II presidents and, and uh, get a different kind of pet. Um, I was pushing for a Vicuña. <laughs> Everybody remembers Dwight Eisenhower's chief of staff, Sherman Adams, and the scandal over the gift of a Vicuña coat from a lobbyist, and that really tarred the name of the Vicuña for a long time. I thought it would, this would be a nice time to bring that back. And vicunias are extremely soft. They're um, a relative of the alpaca. Uh, they only have to be shorn every three years. They produce about a pound of wool for each of those years and make beautiful coats. So it would be like um, the White House garden where you'd actually be able to produce something that would then be useful for the Exactly, president. exactly. And, and, and with that in mind, I was thinking of Lincoln's goats, Nanny and Nanko, and some working animals because of the economic crisis we find ourselves in. And goats are hypoallergenic. Um, and and um, Benjamin Harrison had one too, named Old Whiskers. So um, going right to a dog, I think, is a is was a little bit disappointing, um, even if it is a Portuguese dog. And right. I love Portugal. Well, he's he right. He's showing his international flair, but still keeping it within the boundaries of the. What was the most recent? As our last question, uh, the last. Is that no it? Well, no. We got this. Is the I'm giving you the last question now, which is what what other non dog or cat animal is the, the most recent one we've had? You said it was pre World War II. Uh, it's pre World War II. Well, uh, Teddy Roosevelt had thirty six pets in the White House. He had a one legged rooster. He had an antelope. He had a zebra. He had a whole bunch of pigs and snakes. Um, there there were terrific pets there. Uh, Calvin Coolidge. Um, I think had a badger. Um, the uh, um, uh, Woodrow Wilson had a ram named Old Ike um, that actually died of a nicotine addiction on a farm in Maryland. And I thought that would have been a nice idea to sort of signal to um, to Americans that indeed Obama has stopped smoking, that smoking is bad, and to have a healthy ram on the White House lawn. Uh, 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 William Howard Taft had a cow named Pauline, um, and I thought that was interesting because William Howard Taft was extremely fat. Uh, there, there, I mean. Um, oh, uh, Lincoln, in addition to the goats, and a dog. By the way, Lincoln's dog is the first photographed presidential pet. It was a dog named Fido, um, a mutt, wonderful, lovely dog. Um, and after Lincoln's death, a, a drunk from Springfield, Illinois, broke a bottle and stabbed the dog with it and killed it. So it's a horrible story. Um, and... Uh, um, Oh, there, there's just been a lot. Oh, um, Martin Van Buren had tiger cubs from the Sultan of Oman. Well, uh, that's, that list is going to have to uh, wrap it up for us. Thank you, uh, Morocco, the oh, author right. of All the President's Pets, uh, for uh, giving us a little insight, and we'll know hopefully yeah. soon enough what the president gets. Well, thanks, John, and I really hope that they consider a vicuña because, uh, you know, there's still time. Maybe as the second pet. Yeah. The second first pet. The Incans considered them royalty. Thanks, Mel. Thanks.